Hello, okay. Hi, how are you? Today I'm going to show you how to export catwalk animations from DAS 3D, import them into Blender, and then import them into Code 3D or Marvelous Designer. Here are some examples of some cloth simulations that I have done using the base animations from this method that I'm going to show you. All this process begins in DAS. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the catwalk pre-made animations that are available in the DAS market and I'm going to go ahead and adjust the body, adjust the chest area and also the waist area, the nipples, and I'm going to start moving the armature into an A pose. I am going to do the side by side on the arms and then I'm also going to do the side by side on the legs. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to add a keyframe and create a pose and I'm going to export this pose as Clo A pose B2 and this I'm going to use as the starting pose for when I do the animation later on. Here I'm adding another keyframe because I think I forgot that I already added one but you're going to be able to see that I made a mistake before. I added a keyframe with different shapings on the body so when I transition from the A pose to the catwalk the boobs are going to separate as you can see right here. I fix this by deleting the anti block that I had created and fixing the chest position that was the thing that messed it up in the first place. Once I'm done doing that, I'm going to go find that post that I saved at the beginning. I'm going to bring it back, insert a keyframe, and then I'm going to create an any block from that keyframe and combine the A post with the catwalk. I'm going to readjust the length of the A post to make it shorter so that transition is a little bit faster. After that, I'm going to right click and bake into Studio Keyframes and this is going to be great because I'm going to export the entire rig from DAS to Blender. I am going to export this animation using the DAS to Blender add-on, so I'm going to File, Send to Blender and select Animation and then press OK. Once I'm in Blender, I am going to the end panel and I'm going to import my character. This takes a while, but once this is done, you're going to be able to see your rig fully animated and you can make adjustments. When you first import it, the leg kind of goes to the side, one of the legs. So the way I fixed this was by going to the constraints tab and matching both of the legs limits. If you end up having the same problem as me when importing with DAS add-on, you're going to have to match all of the limits on all of the bones that I selected. Once I'm done with that, I go ahead and create a shape key so I can fix the waist and make it smaller. You don't really have to do this, but this is if you want to create deformations once you're in Blender. If you do want to make the changes, just go into scope mode and readjust the body into your desired shape and you're basically done if your value is at 1. As you can see, the body still moves the same, it just has a different figure to it. To export this animation and import it into Clo, I'm going to go into File, Export as an Alembic, and I'm going to use these settings. And then go into Clo, Import, Import Alembic, select my file, and then just press OK. And then here we have our model, it's an A-Post. If we go into the simulation mode, we can see that our armature and our mesh moves perfectly. And we can go ahead and leave it in frame 1 and build out our garment. And then once we're done with that, we go into the simulation mode and we simulate the clothing into the animation. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found this video useful or helpful. If you did, just make sure you hit the like button and subscribe.